Hey, Lisette here for Tool Tester. If you want to try Wix but aren't sure where to start, which is understandable given the number of apps and features it offers, we've got you covered. In this tutorial, we will walk you through creating a website in just a few simple steps. For this tutorial, we'll be creating a photography website together, complete with a gallery, appointment booking calendar, and contact form. To start, go to Wix.com to create an account. The link is in the description of the video. Wix occasionally makes changes to their interface, so the next few steps might not look exactly the same for you, but even so, it's pretty intuitive, so you should be able to easily follow along. Click on Get Started and create a new login or log in with your existing Google or Facebook account. The setup wizard then asks you a few questions about what type of site you want to create. Type in photographer and click on next. Enter the name of your website and click again on next. It will then ask you if you need certain features. In our example, it recommends a portfolio to showcase your work and bookings so that customers can book an appointment online for a photo shoot. You can, of course, always add any of these features afterwards. Click to reach the dashboard, then hit Design Site. You'll then get two options. Have Wix create the website for you with its AI builder or pick a template. Let's choose the template option so we can tailor design our site just the way we want it. Here we come to one of the most fun parts of creating a website, choosing a template. As you can see, Wix offers great templates for photographers and creatives in general, one of the reasons why they're killing it in this market. Let's choose this template for a wedding photographer. You can preview the template by clicking on View or start using it by clicking Edit. We are now in Wix's drag and drop editor. Don't let all the options put you off. We will guide you through what to do step by step. Let's focus on the home page. You can customize each element by clicking directly on it. For example, we can change this text block by clicking on Edit Text. If we want to display a different image, we simply click on Change Image. We'll then be able to upload our own image and replace the current one. You can customize all the pages on your site one by one. Wix has inserted a few it thinks you'll find useful, but you can always delete these if you don't need them. On the left side, there is a menu to add elements and apps on your page. You can add an image gallery by clicking on the plus symbol and choosing Gallery then dragging and dropping it anywhere on the page. In this template, a gallery has already been positioned under the About Me text. To change the layout, click on Settings, then Layout. Let's choose Grid. Just be aware that you might need to edit or rearrange some of the images to get them to display correctly in this layout. To add your own photos, click on Manage Media, then Replace Image, and Upload Media. Once again, you can upload your own images or even choose one from of Wix's free stock photo libraries. Applications can be incredibly useful to add extra features to your site, and Wix has a huge range in its app market. To add an appointment booking feature, for example, click on Add Apps in the left menu. Then, do a search for Wix Bookings which is Wix's own online booking app. Luckily, we already have this pre-installed in our template, so we don't need to install it again. If you want to add it to the home page, just hit the plus symbol again. Go down to Bookings and drag your chosen block onto your page. Then click on Manage Services. To make things easier, Wix lets you choose from some existing options, such as appointments, classes, or courses, or you can add your own. Let's edit engagement photo shoots. Here, you just need to edit the duration, price and payment options, location details, and staff availability. You can also add more images and access advanced features, such as manually or automatically approving requests and customizing your booking form. Remember to hit save when you're done. Quick tip here, you will need to subscribe to one of Wix's business plans to start accepting bookings. If you need more help with this feature, check out our guide on Wix bookings through the link below. If you want customers to get in touch, it's essential to add a contact form to your site. In our template, a form has been added to the homepage just before the footer. 
If you want to add a new field, click on that option. To change the names of the fields, click on the block of text you want to change. In Form Settings, you can change the name of the form, choose what message to display when a user submits a form, and even accept payments, provided you're on a Wix business plan. If your template does not have a form by default, you can add one by clicking the plus symbol and going to Contact and Forms. Finally, to get traffic to your site, make sure you optimize your site for search using Wix's SEO wizard. Go to Settings, click Get Found on Google, click on the Get Started button, and fill in your business name, for example, Portland Wedding Photography. Specify whether you serve your customers locally or not, and if so, add your locations, for example, Portland. Add some relevant keywords, such as Portland Wedding Photography and Portland Engagement Photography, separating terms with a comma. It's good to start with a focused list. Just two or three search terms will do for now. Click Next, and you'll be presented with your personalized checklist. Follow the steps by clicking Go For It next to each one. If you need more help with SEO, we have a full guide to Wix's SEO linked in our description below. Now for the final steps. Before you publish your site, we'd recommend doing a couple of things. First, click on the drop-down menu to manage your pages and menu. You can drag and drop to reorder the menu as well as hide and delete pages. Then, check the mobile website version of your site to make sure everything looks okay as Wix's mobile designs sometimes need a bit of tweaking. Finally, if you plan to use your own domain name, Follow the instructions in the link below to see the different options you have for doing that. Once you're ready, all you have to do is hit that publish button and then you'll be live. That's it, your website's done. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You probably have questions, so check out the links in the description for more information and feel free to write to us in the comment section. See you next time.